We need to release a new graphics card this year. Let's take the 580, up the specs a little bit, get some higher clock speeds going there, and let's release it as the RX 590. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. I think that would be a good mid-range card. People would be interested in buying. It will give us a little something to put out there between the time that it takes for us to release our uh, 7 nanometer uh, Navi architecture. And uh, let's just, yeah, I think that would be an easy possibility. Yeah. So I think we'll we'll do that. You know, I think we need another 1060. Not like three is enough. I think we need four because four different 1060 models be perfect for the mid-range budget gamers so they can know exactly what they'd like and they have no concern whatsoever on which option to choose it must be NVIDIA. So we're going to release another card, add an X to the end of the 1060's memory and we will get a substantial performance increase to match anything that AMD will put out there and we will have such a great competitive card that goes in the mid-range and we'll release another 10 series card right now after we've already released the 20 series. So yeah, let's do that. No, we already have enough mid-range graphics cards. We, we really we really don't need any more. Gamers definitely need another 1060. Come on, you know you want one. What's up everybody, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my tech wall. Today we're gonna to talk about the 1060, not the five gigabyte model, not the three gigabyte model, not the six gigabyte model. Oh, actually in case, this particular case, yes, the six gigabyte model, but not the six gigabytes of DDR or GDDR5. We're talking about the six gigabytes of GDDR6 or GDDR5X. Because NVIDIA decided that we just need to slam an X on there, release a totally another mo a total different model compared to what we've had before, and just throw that out there because people need more performance in the mid-range area. So, yeah, I have a couple questions. So first off, number one, I want to talk about a few things. Number one, the area that this card is going towards is a kind of, as I said, a mid-range budget. Uh, but what's really confusing about this area is that there's a, it's, you know, there's a lot of spaces and gaps between graphics cards. Like you have the 1050 Ti that has, and then there's the 1060, which there's like a, you know, 50, 60 dollar gap. But in between the 1060, six or three gigabyte and the 1060, six gigabyte, you have the 10, or of course you have the 1060, three gigabyte. You have the uh, RX 580, and then the eight gigabyte model, and then you have the 1060, six gigabyte model. And the RX 580 is kind of right in the dead middle, and a lot of people choose that because it's in the dead middle. And there's a lot of different options, like three options, kind of for a certain price range. And so there's a lot of options for cards. And so Nvidia has not only decided to recently release a 5 gigabyte of the 1060, but they've also even gone ahead and released another model with upping the high, even a higher tier above the 1060 6 gigabyte, so you even have a higher powerful card. So if you're not really if you're really confused, you're you're not alone. Um, it's like they've decided to put another card in this small little window, and. Not only is AMD now releasing an RX 590, which I think this is what it's kind of supposed to compensate for, um, it's really just going to still fall within that area. And there's a, now that there's going to be so many cards in that area, I feel like, yes, gamers are going to have a lot of options, and it's going to be a little bit easier, uh, but I think there's also a little bit more incentive to say, hmm, well, maybe I can get a better card. Um, if I only save up an extra 10 bucks or 20 bucks, I can get a, a better card. Uh, maybe I'll just save up. I think there'll be a little bit more incentive to get, uh, you know, save up a little bit more and get something slightly better compared to if you're going from a 1060 to a 770, you've got maybe 50 to to $100 difference. You really want to make sure, you know, you've kind of got a much smaller window to save up for. And I think people, yes, if you have a budget and you're set budget and you're going to go for it, then why not? You know, if you've got a set budget and you see that there's a card right at your price range, go for it. But I think that, in my personal opinion, I think you've... I think it's been oversaturated. This little window of price range from like the 250 up to like the $350 price range right now is kind of what we're looking at. Uh, of course, a little bit higher for 400, a little bit lower depending on the price fluctuations at the time you're watching this video because tariffs and all that stuff are going to be happening soon and I can't say what the future is going to hold. The 1080 Ti and the 2080 Ti or 2070, there's, I feel like there's some a lot of room for improvement. I feel like ray tracing is not the biggest concern for everybody. I think everybody wants 4K, 144 hertz, or 144 FPS, you know, basically stuff that can support 4K at that level. I think everyone's kind of going for that. I mean, ray tracing, yes, is a nice, cool, pretty thing, but I think that there was a lot more of a market available 
for that rather than this small little window that we've already got a bunch of cars that kind of cover. I feel like uh, NVIDIA just decided, you know, since AMD is releasing a card here, we need to come back with something as well, and you just add more cards to something that's already got plenty. Uh, so that's my opinion. I, of course, I have an opinion. You all are welcome and entitled to your own. I, you know, I encourage people to comment down below, have a nice civilized discussion. Uh, don't just downvote, or not downvote, I think I'm on Reddit. <laughs> Just don't like dislike the video because, heck, I'm I'm voicing my opinion and I have no problem doing so. But I also encourage everyone else to do the same, and everyone does have a right to their own opinion. Uh, so that was my little opinion about just I feel like it's a little oversaturated my personal opinion. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Let me know what your thoughts, comments, everything down below. Uh, really interested to see what everyone else thinks of this because I mean honestly, another card is quite interesting. I mean the specs are pretty much the exact identical. Uh, we've got specs that are pretty much the same as they were on the 1066 gigabyte. I mean, who? It, it really doesn't seem like that small for performance increase is justified. Um, but, you know, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Check out the channel for other cool tech related builds, news, etc. And, uh, goodbye.